Okay, guys, guys, if you just want to gather around, please, and listen, please, guys. Vlad, stop talking and listen. Come on, mate, you should know better than that. Well, here we are, guys, back in the World Series, and we all remember what it was like last year, don't we? It hurt to lose. It really, really hurt, didn't it? I want you to remember that, and I want you to embrace it. I want you to feed off it, to make sure that you never have to feel like that again. You were brilliant in Game 7 versus the Astros, superb. But let's make sure this series doesn't need a Game 7. Let's get out there, let's knock these Dodgers down to the floor, and let's never let them up. Yeah. Now, Duplante A, you're on the mound for this one, and you owe us after you stuffed up last season. So do not stuff this up. Hi guys, the Mozzie Villain, and welcome to Game 1 of the World Series. It's the Blue Jays versus the Dodgers. We do have home field advantage uh, for the series, which is excellent, because as a reminder of the final standings here, we had a record of 102-60, and 60, and the Dodgers were 96-66. and 66. So we have home ground advantage, which is absolutely awesome. Um, and yeah, we can see here that, well, there's no, nothing to report yet, because it's the first game of the series. So I guess we don't waste any time. I'm curious. I want to get into this. I'm a little bit nervous. But um, let's go check out these lineups, shall we, for Game 1 of the World Series. And this is it. And from our point of view, it is the same team that went in Game 7 against the Astros. We couldn't change that team, could we? They were absolutely superb. So it's Bo Bichette leading us off at shortstop. McQuaid batting second at second. Val Jr. batting third at third. Matt Beatty cleans up at uh, left field. It's Brandon Jury continuing as a designated hitter. He bats five. Tellez at first base bats six. Danny Jansen bats seven. He's the catcher. Khalil Lee keeps his spot in right field. He bats eight. Billy Hamilton, the center fielder, bats nine. It's John Duplantier. He gets the game one start for us. My plan here is he will start game one. I'll tell you the plan as we get into the game, actually. But he's been uh, okay this season for us. He is in a decent form, so hopefully that will continue. And he owes us for last season, of course, when he cost us the World Series. For them, game one is Walker Burra, I guess you'd pronounce that. Uh, he had an ERA this season of 328. He had a war whip of just over one. He had an ERA plus of uh, 134, a war of 4.9. He is their main guy. They've had a, they they swept the, the the Braves, didn't they, in their uh, in their championship series? They've had time off. They're fresh. They're raring to go. Let's hope we get home advantage. Home advantage here needs to count. And here we go. We are about to get the World Series underway. Let's try this again. Of course, last year it was a heartbreaking Game Seven. This season, hopefully, it's going to go a little bit better for us. So the plan for the pitching lineups here is Duplantier will go. It was the choice between Duplantier and Fleming. Um, Fleming is just an amazing, amazing pitcher um, away from home. He's 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 better away from. Oof, didn't dodge that one, did you, mate? Um, he's a better pitcher away from home than he is at home. So that meant Duplantier. We got he got the starting game one here as he faces Bellinger, who batted 319 in the regular season. That's been well hit. It is. Staying in, Hamilton gets it in, but it is a double. Is it just a double? They're going to try and come home, and Bellinger gives the Dodgers the lead with an 0-2 double, and the Dodgers are 1-0 up. So the plan is Gavin Lux comes in. I should uh, be explaining, shouldn't I? He's batting 200 this year, um, this postseason, I should say. Ground ball should be easy for Bo. It is over to, over to second there first. Sorry, over to first. We'll get there in the end for second out. Will Smith comes in the bat. Let's concentrate on this. He's batting 360 this postseason, and he walks. Two out, runners at the corners. And Duplantier, suddenly this looks absolutely massive as Corey Sager comes out to bat. He is 267 this postseason. That is hit into left field. Can Beatty get there? No, he cannot, and it's an RBI single. And we are 2-0 down in the top of the first, and Duplantier is not working to plan, is he? Jock Patterson, who's batting 148 this postseason. He was a disaster for us at the Mets back in F FM, back in Alder Park uh, 20. We do end the innings there, but we're two runs down already, and it is Bo Bichette to lead us off, batting 361. 0-2's the count on Bo. So yeah, the plan for Game 2 is that it will be, uh, that should be Peterson fit, ready to go. Game 3 will be Snell. Game 4 on the road will be, du uh, will be Fleming. Then game five will be a Duplantier or just somebody who's somebody else, maybe a Helsey or, or an Espinosa, someone like that. Game five is we'll have to see what it's like when we get there. And that should then mean that game six 
as we're two out, no one on for Vlad Jr. Um, that game six and seven back at home will be able to be uh, Pearson and Snell again. And has he? Yes, he has. Vlad Jr. with the two out single. Um, it'll mean that we have, uh, have Pearson and Snell ready to go in game six and seven when we get back to Toronto. So that's the plan. Uh, it's not ideal. Beatty, he's hit it okay, but center field's there, makes a diving catch, and that'll do it. We find ourselves 2-0 down after the first, and unfortunately now Duplente has to come back out, and it's Mitch Hanniger. Good to say the name again. Formerly, of course, with us at the Mariners, batting 480 this postseason, which isn't ideal. Come on, Mitch, be a mate and just swing out here for me. There it is. Excellent stuff, and that is not the best throw that'll do, but it's good enough to get the job done. That is one away. Brings up Sheldon Newis, I guess you'd pronounce it. Batting 200 this postseason. Two and two's the count. Come on, Johnny Boy. Sitting down, mate. It's popped up for a horrible second that I thought it was being absolutely launched. But Beatty's there, makes the catch. And that is two away to bring up Colton Wong again, who is 0 for 1 today. Two and two's the count. Two out. No, he's hitting him again. De plenty, eh? Come on, mate. He really is testing our patience, isn't he? Uh, Muncy, who of course got hit last time around, 1-0 and oh is the count, that is ripped into right field, Khalil Lee is there, he can't keep the runner at first, and with two out we have runners at the corners again, and this Dodgers batting lineup, it's very, very strong, it's Bellinger who comes in, he's 1-for-1 one one today already with an RBI, 1-2 and two's the count, and that's a strikeout, alright, you do wonder if injuries are what essentially could cost us this season as Drury comes in to bat, batting one 76 this postseason. Inciate missing, uh, Garel Jr. missing, and of course, uh, Reese McGuire missing. They're all big, big holes in the batting lineup, and it's, you just wonder if that is what's going to cost us in the end this season. It's Rowdy Tellez batting 206 this postseason. He comes in 0 and 2. He strikes out. Two away, no one on for Denny Jansen, who's batting 121. You can see by the postseason batting averages, we have not had a good time with the bat. And we end the second, still two runs down, and in desperate need of Duplentier to get a good innings in here for us. Gavin Lux to lead them off. He's 0 for 1 today. 2 and 1's the count, and that is popped up. Should be caught there. It's McQuaid who calls it, and he makes the play for one away. Will Smith comes in. He got warped last time up. 2 and 2's the count. Duplentier sits him down. That's 2 away. Maybe he's settled into his game now. Corey Sager, who of course got the RBI last time out. Loaded, no, what's it called? A full count. And he walks him. Putting on base runners like we don't need to do. Jock Pierce Patterson, what's his name? Patterson comes in. He's 0 for 1 today. 2 and 2's the count. It's up. It's deep. Hamilton's going back. It should stay in. It will stay in. Hamilton's there. And that'll end the innings. Only giving up three hits through uh, three innings is not too bad, is it, for uh, for Duplentier? The problem, of course, is uh, the walks he's giving in. Uh, 167 is Khalil Lee's batting average this postseason. That's not going to improve with that. And that is one away. It brings up Billy Hamilton. Surprisingly a hero of Game 7 against the Astros. First pitch swing. Hamilton looks to lay down a bunt. It's not a particularly good one. Can he beat it out? Oh, he can. He can, he can, he can. It's a single for Billy Hamilton and Bo Bichette now, who's 0 for 1 today. He has a chance to work Hamilton around. Bo Bichette! Oh, he's done more than work him around! It's a home run! Bo Bichette ties us up in the bottom of the third. A two-run home run, 388 feet over the left field fence. And just like that, thanks to Bo, it's 2-2. And suddenly it all looks a lot better. It's William McQuaid coming in now. He's 0 for 1 today. What can he do? 1 and 2's the count on William. Come on, Willie. He's got a piece of that that's going to run to the fence. And that should be at least a double for William McQuaid. Could it be a triple? He slides into second. That would suggest no, it's not. And a one-out double for William McQuaid. And now we have Vlad Jr. up to bat with only one out and a chance to drive in a run. First pitch swing by Vlad. Vlad Jr. No, he's popped that up. That's not going to get uh, not going to get McQuaid anywhere either, and it's going to be up to uh, Beatty now, who is 0 for 1 today to try and drive in this run. Come on, Matty Boy. He draws a walk, and now it's Brandon Jury, 0 for 1 today. Can he pull something out of the hat? No, he cannot. But we tie her up in the third. I wonder if we need to drop Jury further down the order. 
Uh, Mitch Hanniger to lead them off. He's 0 for 1 today. The reason he's so far up is because I want Tellez at 6. Maybe we switch Janssen around, but Janssen's not... No one's batting well. That's the problem. Here we go. That's the ground ball. Bo should have that over to first, mate. There it is. One away. Uh, it's Newes coming into bat. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that correctly. He's 0 for 1 today. 0 and 2 is the count. Come on, do plenty A. No. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Four hundred and twenty-one feet over centre field, and the number nine man has given the Dodgers back the lead. He makes it really difficult to like him, doesn't he? Do plenty a Colton Wong comes in. He's zero for one. He got hit last time, if I remember correctly. One that owes the count. That's a swinging bunt. Jansen has it. Can he? Yes, he can make the play, and that is two away. Max Muncy comes in. He's one for one with a walk as well, I think. Two and O's the count. That should be playable. It is. McQuaid over to first. That ends the top of the fourth, but they go back in front thanks to the home run. And it's Rowdy Tellez to lead us off. He's 0 for 1 today. What can Rowdy do? 1 and 2's the count. Tellez strikes out and politely makes his way back to the dugout. It brings up Denny Jansen in a slump now, officially. Full count on Denny Boy. He draws a walk. Excellent stuff. What can Khalil Lee do now? He's 0 for 1 today. Another full count. Khalil Lee swings through strike 3. That's 2 away. And Billy Hamilton now, who bunted himself aboard last time. This time around, he well hit down the third base line. But unfortunately, fielded over to first. And that'll do it. We are behind by 1 as we go into the 5th. It's Bellinger to face Duplantier. Bellinger is 1 for 2 today. One for three now. Well done, Duplantier. A fifth strikeout of the game. Gavin Lux, who is 0 for 2. One that knows the count. He has hit that well. Is it playable by Khalil Lee? It is not. And that is a one-out single. Will Smith comes up. He's 0 for 1. He got hit, I think, or walked or something earlier on today. Can we turn two there? There's one. Can we? No, just a lead man. But that's okay. Two away. Runner still at first, and Ryan Helsey comes in. That'll do it for Duplantier. Let me know what you think in the comments. I guess he kept us in the game, and that's all we can really ask for. Helsey comes in now. Didn't have a good time of things with his start, as they look to steal second, and they get there as well, do they? Or did we get him? Oh, what a throw that is. What a throw that is by Denny Jansen. He looked like he was there for all money, and we've nailed him. All right, Bo Bichette now with a two-run home run last time. What can he do second or third time around? He can strike out, and that is not what we had in mind, Mr. Bichette. It brings up McQuaid now, who's one for two. Full count on him. McQuaid backs off. It's a ground ball. Can he beat that out? He can. And McQuaid with the infield single. Brings up Vlad Jr. now with a man at first. He is one for two today. One that knows the count. Vlad! 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 Oh, it's off the top of the wall. Is it going to bring McQuaid in to score? It is not, but it's a double for Vlad Jr. It looked like it was just going to keep floating over the center field fence, but in the end, it was inches short. And with one away, runners at second and third, it's Matt Beatty, who's 0 for 1 today. A first pitch swing. Beatty gets it through the third baseman. That scores one, and that'll only score one, but it's an RBI single. Matt Beatty ties us up, and with runners at the corners and one out, it is Brandon Jury to see if he can do something to get us in front here. First pitch swing, Brandon Jury. It's only the one. It gets Beatty over to second. Vlad stays at third. And can Rowdy Tellez put us in front here? He's 0 for 2 today. 0 and 2 is the count. Tellez! Oh, he can do it! Rowdy Tellez! When it's 0 and 2, you just expect him to strike out. But on this occasion, he delivers a 2 RBI double. And just like that, it's 5 to 3. Much, much better. Oh, go on, Rowdy. Amazing, amazing stuff. And that'll do it. Sean Doolittle comes onto the mound to pitch for them. ERA this postseason of 580. Denny Jansen is at the plate. He's 0 for 1 today with a walk as well. It's a first pitch swing from Denny Jansen. Come on, son. Denny Jansen. Oh, that is out of here. Denny Jansen adds two. It's 7 to 3. We've scored five runs in the fifth. 404 feet from Denny Jansen. He's not in a slump anymore. And the Blue Jays are exploding in the fifth. Amazing, amazing stuff. Khalil Lee comes out now. He's 0 for 2 today. 1 and 2 is the count. There's no one on. 2 out. Khalil Lee 
strikes out. But an amazing fifth innings for the Blue Jays. Five runs across the plate. We're 7-3 up and it's Helsey to the mound. Now Helsey was doing really well this postseason. Apart from his start that he had in, uh, was it game five of the uh, ALCS? Where we were kind of experimenting. That's a good play by Vlad. Otherwise, he's been he's been fairly solid. So we do have faith in him. Pedersen, who's 0 for 2 today. 0 and 2's the count. End him, Helsey. Oh, it's a good pitch. Tied him in knots. Tied him in knots. Two away. No one out. Uh, no one on. Sorry. Mitch Henniger to the plate. 0 for 2. He is today. 3 and 1's the count. That's the ground ball to Bow. Over to first, mate. There it is. Tellez makes the play. And that ends the top of the six. We have our four-run lead intact. Can we extend it? It's Doolittle to Hamilton. One for two today with his bunt. That's popped up, and that will be the first out of the bottom of the sixth. It's going to bring Bo Bichette back up. He's one for three, but that one was, of course, a two-run home run. Two and one's the count. Bo Bichette, it's a ground ball to second base. Can he beat it out? No, he cannot. That's two out. And it's going to be William McQuaid, who is two for three today. To see what he can do against Doolittle. One and one's the count. He's got a good piece of that. Is it going to drop in? It is. And McQuaid with the two out single. Which of course brings Vlad Jr. up. Who is two for three today. Two and two's the count. What do you got for us Vlad? Not much on this occasion. That ends it. Still four runs up as we go in to the seventh. Helsey to continue to uh, Neus, who of course did a home run last time up. 3 and is the count. This isn't going to end well. And we've walked the leadoff man. Come on, Ryan, mate. You are better than that. Colton Wong up now. He's 0 for 2 today. 1-0 and is the count. That is hit into right field. Khalil Lee can only field it on the hop. And it's going to get the man to third with no one out. Suddenly, there's runners at the corners. And Helsey is in a bit of trouble here. It's Max Muncy who is one for two today. A first pitch swing. They're looking for the steal. Can we nail him? Can we nail him? No, we cannot. And with no one out, runners at second and third. Helsey, mate. Strikeout will be massive here. One and two's the count. He can't get the strikeout. That's going to bring in a run. It will be out at first. But it's seven to four. One away. And there is still that man at third. It's Cody Bellinger who is one for three today. Oh, and two's the count. There's a strikeout. Excellent stuff from Helsey. That's two out now. Can we get Lux at the plate? He is one for three today. The first pitch swing. It's popped up. Make sure of this, please, Billy Hamilton. Make sure of it. Two hands. And that ends the seventh. We saw it ends the middle of it anyway. We stretch. Three runs up. Seven to four. Matt Beatty to lead us off. He has one for two today with that RBI from his last at bat. One and O's the count. Beatty gets it up the middle and Beatty. He leads us off with a single. All right, Brandon Jury. And it's the pitcher's injured on the plate. You don't like to see people injured, but hopefully it's serious. Or well, actually, no, hopefully it's not. We've done okay against him, haven't we? Brandon Jury comes in. He's 0 for 3 today. He's not had a good time of things. And Brandon Jury, we may not be seeing him in game two. I don't think we can keep picking him on this form. We'll have to give somebody else a go. Rowdy Tellez, who got the two RBI double last time out. Full count, runner at first, one away. Tellez down the first baseline, just the one. The runner will move to second. And with two away, it's Denny Jansen who hit a home run last time up. What can he do this time? Denny Jansen, it gets away from the catcher. BT goes to third. That uh, four-run lead is just 90 feet away. What can Denny Jansen do? Three and O's the count. Denny Jansen walks. And it's going to come down to Khalil Lee, who is 0 for 3 today. Can he do something for us? Khalil Lee, he's got a piece of it, but it's going to be caught in left field. It's popped up. And that'll end the 7th. Our lead is cut to 3. Does Helsey continue? He does to Will Smith. 0 for 2 he is today. 1 and 2 is the count. And Helsey strikes out the leadoff man. 1 away. Brings up Corey Sega, who is one for two today. Two and two's the count. Come on, Helsey. Oh, he's on fire. Ryan Helsey sits down another one. He's going to end the innings here, is he, against Jock Patterson. He's 0 for three today. Full count, two out, no one on. Come on, Helsey. What a pitch. What an innings from Ryan Helsey. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. We are three outs away from clinching game one. Now, can we add to our lead? It's Hamilton who's one for three today. Can he bunt himself aboard? One that knows the count. Hamilton, ground ball to shortstop. And you have to be pretty quick to beat that. And that is one away. 
Bo Bichette, who's one for four. But that one, as I said, it was a home run. One and two's the count. Bo Bichette gets a piece of it, but it's popped up in the right field. Simple catch. Two away. And it's going to be William McQuaid coming up now. He's three for four today with two out, mate. No one on. Just close your eyes and see if you can clear a fence for me. One and two's the count. Didn't even bother swinging. And we go to the ninth. And is it going to be Hendricks? It is Liam Hendricks. Comes out to hopefully. It's the incredible choke. He's 0 for 3 is Mitch Hanniger. What can we do against him? It's a full count. Don't put your leadoff man on, please. Come on, Hendo. Oh, he's done worse than walking. He's given up a double. Mitch Hanniger rips it into left field. We love to see it at the Mariners. We don't love it so much at the Blue Jays. And that is a leadoff double, as I said. Sheldon Nius, who is 1 for 2 today with a home run. 2 and 2 is the count. Come on, Hendo. Hendricks sits him down, one away. Go on, son. All right, it brings up Colton Wong, who is one for three today. The runner at second, of course. First pitch swing. Wong pops it up. Khalil Lee, two hands, please, mate. Two hands. Excellent stuff. They are down to their final out. They have a runner at second. That means nothing. Max Muncy's at the plate. He's one for three today. Two and two's the count. Come on, Hendo. Come on, Hendo. There it is. We've won game one. Go on, Blue Jays. Go on, Hendo. So there we go, Liam Hendricks in danger of becoming a reliable closer for us. The incredible choke is anything but. He's, as I said, in danger of becoming reliable, uh, which is amazing. Hopefully I haven't just put the mockers on him, but let's hope. Long may that continue. Um, but there we go, we do take a one-run lead, a one-game lead <laughs> in the World Series, uh, which is absolutely incredible. And we'll be back on Friday for Game 2 in Toronto. It will be Nate Pearson taking the mound for us, up against Dustin May for them. Will we be going to LA tied at one or with a two-game uh, two lead? I'll see you next episode to find out. Take care.